Sounds. Welcome back, guys, to episode 11 of my Youth Squad series. We've just hit the winter transfer season, so I've already looked at most of the free agents. I'm now just looking at the strikers. The only guy that looks interesting to me is this Nicolas Mart from France. I do need a new striker. Holidays and Korea are just not doing it for me. My strike force is solid. I just I need that little I need that one player to just give me a little bit more of a tweak to it. My youth squad's getting there on its own. I'm looking forward to bringing some of them players in at next season and all my scouts are out at the moment. Um these are what the scouts have got. I should really update this sooner. I haven't been on this for over f 5 months. The rule is I normally go for about 80s and above when I'm desperate. Normally it's 85, 86 minimum on the potential. So at this point I'm literally just anything 80s I'm going to keep. Anything below 80, easily gone. Um, let's look at what Portugal have got for me. 66, he'll be gone. 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 There's only, you know, I'm gutted I missed out on Sharkley. Or Sharky even. Sharky and Sparky would have been a great lineup. Manager and player. Um seventy eight's gone, sixty four, sixty nine, it's a sex thing. Eighty. Oh, I messed up there, didn't I? <laughs> um and let's see what Denmark Denmark's got for us. That's a hell yeah. That mistake earlier, that's just made up for it, and I'm gonna bring this guy in. Patson, you're gonna go. I'm you're just not good enough, sorry. Um they're all, I'm going to keep them them free. Lockhead. Oh my god, there's a Lockhead. His own rules do not match his potentials whatsoever. I'm, I'm, I'm gutted to get rid of him. Hopefully he'll come back and prove me wrong. Um, but yeah, I've done my youth side. I've done uh, free agent. All I've got to do now is wait for some offers to come in and offers to be accepted. So I'm now going to carry on with my career. Um, and I think the next game is against Swindon. So this is my current youth squad. I just I'm going to keep them till the end of the season. They look promising. That 93 looks amazing. Rowley's a weak link there. I can't, I can't really do much with a weak link, but you know, can't complain. It's still a solid player. Good enough for championship for me. Top corner. It's just come up saying that Nicholas Mark has agreed the contract, and there it is accepted. I just have to sign that fake signature. Get ready for it. Let me just change. Let me just change my wage budget. Mistake from me, sorry. And fake signature is there. I've got a new striker, guys. So as you can see, he is now playing for us in the starting lineup. The new striker, Mark, is playing up front, or Marks, or what, however you pronounce it. He's French. He looks pretty interesting to see. I I can't explain it because obviously I haven't seen him play in person. Um, hopefully he plays well and gels with my team. Between him and Korea, I'm looking at a new uh, up front too. Bit of uh, pace, slim. That's not what I was hoping. Bay, Tongue, someone tackle them please. Do not let in an early 30 minute goal. Do not. Where is the defence in all this? This game has been horrendous so far. I just can't... Oh, well done keeper. Player on the line as well. Perfect. Team's been a little bit shaky this match. 17 minutes in, I just I can't get into their sec. I can't even get into their half to be honest. And my team's just been doing this. I've got the Chuckle Brothers. So 10 minutes to go. I've just taken off three of my key players, bought on Korea and Clute. Maybe them subs were a little bit too late. 10 minutes did not do enough for me, and the whistle is about to be blown. And there it is. First game into this match with my new striker, and it's a nil-nil draw. All I'm going to take out of that is the positives. I didn't let a goal in. Last game of this episode, yes, it's only a two-match episode, is against Pompey. I play the mighty Portsmouth, and this is my lineup: three, four, one, two. Mark and Korea up front. I'm hoping that their that teamwork works. That's all new striking partnerships. It does take a few weeks to gel. Hopefully, by next episode, they will have gelled. I'm hoping for a lot of goals there. Pompey are fifteenth, and we're just above them in thirteenth, and they get kickoff yet again. Sorry guys, I'm not going to complain about that anymore. I'm really sorry, that's not a complaint. I'm looking forward to Championship and Premiership in my eyes. Dunn's on it. I'm hoping that's not Richard Dunn playing for Pompey. I'm hoping they've got their own Dunn. Hollands, not Matt Hollands from Cholton. 
done. It gets done over by Rodriguez. Fia backs the mini mini me of Rodriguez. Does what he does best. There you go, Fia backs is there again. That's a wicked pass. My winger just did not read that in time. Gutted really. So I've played about 150 minutes of gameplay so far and I still have not scored. This looks promising though. Kim to Marks, a new guy, and it's at a top corner goal on his date on his not debut, second game. First home game I think. Twenty second minutes in. Hurry up and just just show me the replay for God's sake. There you go. Marks is on it. Ah, oh, it was curling. It was going top corner. So I'm one 0 up. Wallace has got it. I just don't want to. I don't want to break under the pressure. You know what I'm like under the pressure. Kim's got it. Can Kim do anything with this? I'm just going to need to pass and go. Pass and go. It's in my head right now. I need to find that key key player. Pass it to him and work from there. McCallum. That's a fair tackle. Ref. That's only a yellow. How is that a red? How is that a red? Thirty minutes in and you give me a red. I'm 1 0 up against Pompey. I'm proud to say I'm 1 0 up. Korea's got it against Butler. Loses it. Rolf has got it. Ruth has got it. Korea. Korea gets past the defender. Can he score? 1 1 with a keeper. And he makes it a little bit more difficult for him, bringing the two defenders closer to him, but it doesn't affect him one bit. 2 0. Come on. Rodriguez. And that's why Pompey players don't play for us. So Rick. To Korea, he's been on fire since the new guys come in. He stepped up. He has proven to us that Korea is the key striker here. That is two goals in 45 minutes for Korea, eight goals in all competitions. He is our number one striker, and he is showing us why right now. Gets past that defender, and look at that as a goal. Bottom left corner. Well done, Korea. I am so proud. Clue. The bay. One more. No. Mark's running rings around the defence right here. This is why. Oh man. Seven minutes to go. What is my keeper doing? He's done pretty well to be honest. At least there's no no um calls yet from the ref. Keeper's doing better defending than the actual defenders are. I'm impressed. Maybe next game he'll go go in defence for me. I'll play my number two in. Oh, and he can catch as well. He can actually defend and keep. And that's the final whistle. They've won 3-0 against the mighty Pompey. And another three points towards promotion. Now, before I end this episode, and I'm sorry it's only two matches, but next week I will make up for it. I'm not going to be selling Shenton for less than a mil. He will be a key player in a few years' time when I'm in the Premiership. So I will not be selling him for less. Um, and I think the next guy is a no-face. Yeah, he's a no-face. He'll be going. I don't want him. They could have asked for a pound and I would have said yes. He's not needed in this team. Uh, I'm just basically looking at some more free agents and some players on, on low knees at the moment. Um, I've just got a couple of grand in wages once I sort things out. So hopefully I can get some new players in. Private looks pretty promising to be honest. Uh, I turb be interested in me. Look at them stats. Vargas would be really good. CDM is a key player. I'd like to bring him in. He looks really promising. If I can bring him in, I'll be happy. And that king has sold for 10k. I get 8 out of it. No problem. Loney, possibly. Possibly. And Vargas has accepted. But will he sign for us? Join in next week to find out. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video or any of my others, please hit the sub button, hit that like button, and leave a comment below.